Life depends upon energy, and all living organisms have a way to provide energy to carry out life functions. Most organisms, including most plants, release energy from food products by a process called cellular respiration. When we hear the word respiration, we usually think about the animal, and specifically human, process of breathing and using oxygen. Cellular respiration, as you can guess from its name, takes place within cells. In a series of processes within each cell, food molecules such as glucose combine with oxygen. This produces new molecules of carbon dioxide and water. The energy that was stored in the glucose is released by the reactions of cellular respiration. The energy is stored in a molecule called ATP. ATP is the most readily available energy source for activity. Cellular respiration takes place in both plants and animals and provides a constant supply of energy to carry out life functions. Where do plants get the food molecules that are used in cellular respiration? The glucose for cellular respiration in green plants is produced in a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis can only take place in the presence of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what gives leaves their green color. Chlorophyll occurs in structures called chloroplasts within plant cells. The raw materials for photosynthesis are carbon dioxide, which a plant takes in mostly through its leaves, and water, which enters the plant mostly through its roots. During photosynthesis, the chloroplasts use the energy of sunlight to combine the water and carbon dioxide. This brings a carbon molecule from the carbon dioxide into the living system, enabling the plant to make new sugars, such as glucose. The reaction also releases oxygen. Because of their ability to photosynthesize, plants are described as autotrophic, which means that they produce their own food. Organisms that cannot produce their own food are called heterotrophic. Animals, for instance, are heterotrophs. They must eat and digest food to produce glucose for cellular respiration. Here's an experiment you can set up to observe the rate at which photosynthesis takes place in a plant. A plant called Elodia sits in the bottom of a beaker filled with water. An overturned funnel covers the Elodia and a test tube is placed over the stem of the funnel. During photosynthesis, oxygen is released. By counting the bubbles, you can observe the rate of photosynthesis. To demonstrate that the gas in the test tube is oxygen, hold a glowing splint over the open test tube. Only oxygen will cause the splint to burst into flame. Cellular respiration occurs in living cells all the time. Photosynthesis in green plants and other organisms produces glucose, which is used in cellular respiration.